Shalom. Today I'd like to show you a Bible code about King Hezekiah and some of his accomplishments and how archaeological discoveries are helping to confirm the accuracy of the biblical narrative. This Bible code is found in the books of Genesis and Exodus and the access term is Siloam and the letter skip is 3747. And here is Siloam right here. So King Hezekiah was a righteous king who ruled the kingdom of Judah around 700 BC. He took a firm stand against idolatry and he promoted obedience to the Torah. So Hezekiah is here twice in this purple, going to this teal letter, and then in the line right below it is Hezekiah again. King, King Hezekiah, here is the king, and it crosses over Hezekiah in the same line to there. And he was the king of Judah. Yehuda is in the plain text of scripture here in the Burgundy. The Torah is in this dark brown lettering going down diagonal. And Archaic is here in this green lettering going diagonal. 2 Kings chapter 18 verses 5 and 6 say this about Hezekiah. He trusted in the Lord God of Israel, so that after him was none like him among all the kings of Judah, nor who were before him. For he held fast to Yahuwah. He did not depart from following him, but kept his commandments, which Yahuwah had commanded Moses. During Hezekiah's reign, he received a warning that the Assyrian army was going to invade Jerusalem. Hezekiah sought Yahuwah in prayer and sought the advice of Isaiah, who was a prophet during Hezekiah's reign. The word warning is here in this orange lettering going down. Assyria is found twice, and they're in the same line as we saw Hezekiah. So here is Assyria in the orange, and then in the line below. Moriah is another name for Jerusalem. And here is Moriah in the same line as Hezekiah. It starts with this Mem, which also is in the word king. So Moriah, and then it's in this pink lettering, and sharing the hay in the king. Ariel is another name for Jerusalem, and Isaiah is the one that uses the name Ariel in Isaiah chapter 29. Five times he calls Jerusalem Ariel. So Ariel is in this dark pink going over to the right. And then Isaiah the prophet, he is here in the blue going down diagonal. To prepare for a possible siege on Jerusalem, Hezekiah executed an amazing engineering project. The main source of water for Jerusalem was the Gihon Spring, which lay just outside the walls of the city. He had his workers dig a tunnel from the Gihon Spring to the Pool of Siloam, diverting the water into the city so that they would have a reliable source of water in the event of a siege. The construction began at both ends simultaneously and proceeded until the stone cutters met in the middle. So here in this yellow, we have the word Gihon, and that's the spring. Digging is here twice in the gold lettering, here. And then again, it's over on the right-hand side, but going the opposite way. And it made me think of the stone cutters digging toward each other to meet in the middle. The word tunnel is here twice, here in the plum lettering, going up diagonal. And then again in this line going to the left. Another word for tunnel is here in the brown lettering going up. And it's the same skip as the word Siloam. As you can see, they're both vertical. So that means they're both the same skip. The phrase to flow or to stream is in this blue lettering going down.
The word pool is in this mauve color, going down diagonal, pool of Siloam. In 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 20, that verse records this accomplishment of King Hezekiah. And it says, Now the rest of the acts of Hezekiah, all his might, and how he made a pool and a tunnel and brought water into the city, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? If you visit Jerusalem today, you can actually walk through Hezekiah's tunnel from the Gihon Spring to the Pool of Siloam. In 1838, an inscription was found in the tunnel near the pool, commemorating the completion of the tunnel. The inscription is written in Paleo-Hebrew and dates from the time of Hezekiah. It is called the Siloam Inscription, which is the title of this table. The word inscription is in this green lettering and it crosses over top of the word Siloam. The word Inscribed is here in this teal lettering, and it crosses over Siloam. A couple of other important discoveries were made by an archaeologist by the name of Elat Mazar. She works in the city of David, where it is believed she has found the remains of the king's palace. Also, she found two clay seals, or bula. In 2009, the seal of Isaiah the prophet was found. And in 2015, another one was found with King Hezekiah's name on it. It is written in Paleo-Hebrew script as well. It says, Belonging to Hezekiah, son of Ahaz, king of Judah. These two bulla were found about 10 feet from each other. The word bulla is here in this light teal coloring going up. And it's sharing the wa in the name Hezekiah. Crossing over the name of Hezekiah, we have the name of the archaeologist Elat Mazar. Here is Elat in this peach going up. And Mazar is here sharing the Zion in Hezekiah. Mazar also crosses over this Hezekiah sharing the Zion, and Mazar crosses through where Bula was, and she's the archaeologist responsible for finding those. Hezekiah was a messianic figure, since his devotion to Yahuwah and his prayers helped deliver Judah from the Assyrians. Yahusha, our Messiah, is here crossing the word messianic. In the New Testament, Yahusha is connected to the Pool of Siloam in John chapter 9. He told the blind man to go and wash in the Pool of Siloam, and he received his sight. In John chapter 7, verses 37 and 38, during the Feast of Tabernacles, Yeshua said, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture says, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. So to recap some of the interesting things of note in this table, there are a lot of words in this one line here. We have Hezekiah and the king and Assyria and Moriah. These two lines that have Hezekiah in them there's a phrase that's identical in both of them. This line here comes from Exodus chapter 9, verse 12, and this line is Exodus 11, verse 10. And the phrase that's identical in it, where Hezekiah comes out of, is Yahuwah hardened Pharaoh's heart. As I mentioned earlier, Siloam and Tunnel are at the same letter skip. And then we have a couple of verses that are running through the table up at the top here. And it's interesting to note that Gihon is here in the yellow. And these two verses have something to do with a well of water. This line here comes from Genesis chapter 1, verse 25. 
And this little phrase that's highlighted is well of water. And then this line below it comes from Genesis chapter 4, verse 16. It is talking about Rachel. It says, she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. So I think that's interesting that both of these verses are talking about a source of water and they're both running through where Gihon is, which is the spring of water outside Jerusalem. So that concludes our table for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Shalom.